In 2022, this is from Dog Pound Daily, the five best trade chips that the Browns have on their roster. Uh, we begin at five, Baker Mayfield. Uh, number four, uh, running back Kareem Hunt. Uh, three, this one's a little bit of a surprise. Anthony Schwartz, uh, second year wide receiver with the world class speed. Uh, number two, Ernest Johnson, and uh, D. Ernest Johnson, rather. And number one, Greedy Williams. And um, when you look at that, I think the Greedy Williams one, Mac, kind of reflects the fact that they drafted Martin Emerson. Um, Greedy, coming into his fourth year, doesn't have that fifth-year option because he was not a first-round pick, uh, was taken in the second round. So uh, that would be the reason that Greedy Williams would be up there as a trade chip. Played really well when given the opportunity last year, too. Yeah, and, you know, he's somebody who – you know, played up to, uh, you know, he was in that top 32 of cornerbacks when it comes to coverage grades from pro football focus. So he played very well down the stretch last year. Uh, and especially, you know, surprised me coming back from that uh, nerve injury uh, in 2020. So played very well last year. And, you know, the other aspect that I kind of look at when it comes to this list is the fact that, you know, you're looking at future needs when it comes to, you know, Gritty Williams. I know you mentioned Martin Emerson, but the other side of this as well is that, you know, I also think that you could look at somebody like a Blake Hance possibly as a trade chip in this as well. I understand that, you know, Browns fans might not necessarily understand why I would put him in that, you know, over somebody like an Anthony Schwartz. Anthony Schwartz, I think that they're going to kind of wait and see what they have in him uh, at this point, given the fact that they, you know, had that high investment in the third round. But when it comes to Blake Hance, you know, it's tough to find somebody who has, you know, starting level experience let alone certain level experience at multiple spots on the offensive line. So, you know, somebody like a Blake Hans, you know, when you have Chris Hubbard coming back this year, when you have somebody like James Hudson, who got plenty of experience last year, Michael Dunn missed time last year as well with, uh, you know, injuries previously. So, you know, at that point, you wonder where does Blake Hans kind of fit in in that sense? And if they're able to get something back in training camp, I also wouldn't rule out Andrew Berry taking a deal in that sense. That way they can go ahead and utilize some of the other talent that they have along that offensive line that they've really been able to kind of churn and develop uh, under Bill Callahan, the Browns offensive line coach.